Hi, my name is Yu Niya, and I'm a professor at the Department of Global and Interdisciplinary Studies at Jose University. So let me give you the mission. Mission. Find an example of illusory correlation from your everyday life and check the accuracy of your perception. But first thing first, what is an illusory correlation? Illusory correlations happen everywhere and it happens every day. I'm going to start with an example. Have you ever wondered why in an exam you always get questions you've studied the least? What magic trick do teachers use to find out what, study, what areas you haven't studied the least? How does this work? Can teachers read your mind? Let me reassure you, no, they can't. But your mind can trick you in believing that you're always getting questions that you haven't studied. Our mind wants to make sense of what is going on around us. And so we often associate events and try to find meanings to this association. So in this example, you associate topics you didn't study and topics appearing in an exam. But the question is, are these two really related? Imagine you studied really hard and yet there were five questions on the exam on topics you did not study. This is really upsetting. This causes you a lot of emotions and really gets your attention. So you feel like you're always getting questions you did not study. But note that you're not considering the full picture. Here is a full picture. Perhaps there were many questions that you did study and were on the exam. Uh, but this does not capture your attention because you are doing pretty well. There were definitely some questions you did not study and were not in exam. Uh, but because they're not in the exam, uh, you don't care. And there are some questions you studied and were not in the exam. Maybe there are a lot of them. You cannot be tested on everything. But again, since it's not on the exam, it's not causing you any trouble. So if you look at this full picture, you realize that in fact, you're not always getting questions you did not study. In fact, whether or not you studied has no relationship on whether or not that topic will be on the exam. But you feel there is a connection. Why? This is because the pink cell is the only one that is causing you trouble and is capturing your attention. And what captures your attention remains in your memory, it's more accessible, and whatever is accessible in your mind feels more frequent. So I believe by now you understand what illusory correlation is. Illusory correlation is the perception of a relationship where none exists, or perception of a stronger relationship than actually exists. The problem with illusory correlation can even go further. Not only do we not have a relationship between these two, we even perceive a causality. We even perceive that one is causing the other. You feel that the fact that you did not study an exam is causing the teacher to select that topic to cause you trouble. This biasing perception can have serious consequences, not just in terms of your final grade, but in terms of society as a whole. Illusory correlation is said to be one factor that's sustaining stereotyping and prejudice in a society. Perhaps you've heard and even believe that women are not good at math. Perhaps you've heard your sister complaining how hard math is or that black men are aggressive. 
we have heard in the news of black men committing crimes. People might even say she is poor in math because she is a woman, or he is aggressive, he is dangerous because he is a black man. But I hope that by now you stop and ponder, is there really a relationship between being a woman and being poor in math, or being a black man and being aggressive? Isn't this just an illusory correlation? I'm sure you quickly realize that there are many examples of men who are poor at math, and there's a large number of white men who are aggressive, and black men who are not aggressive. We often believe in things that are not real. Be aware of the various tricks that your mind plays on you. Don't trust your instincts, trust science. Psychology is a scientific study of the human mind. Please try the mission. Thank you.